Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you Wednesday, 08 January. Obviously, all the action happened last night, 2:45 to 3:45 a.m. Swiss time. Um, obviously, everybody knows Iran sent some bombs over to an Iraqi air base, um, and then after it was finished, said, uh, "We're done." Uh, now risk is back higher. We see these lows here, uh, 107.70 in um, dollar yen. Dollars are went up to 14.44. Stocks went all the way down to 31.81. Um, crude went up to 64.50. 64.70 even. Um, looks like it's over now, though. Market is telling us this is all over. I don't think um, Donald's going to raise the roof here. Um, Euro Swiss, 107.87. These are all going to be capitulatory lows now, I think, on risk. And uh, we're going to see this stuff move in the other direction. We've got Trump speaking today, so we'll have to see how that plays out. The key moment here is on a daily close, 32.05. Um, my colleagues, obviously, last night were talking about gamma flipping at 31.85-ish. Market is net short gamma below 85. Uh, call it let's just call it 81 uh, it's not really a specific number um, so that'll be interesting obviously a close blow there will be horribly bearish but really you just need a close blow 3205 for this to be bearish right now we're not close to that um, we are not short equities we are not short risk at all um, we'll be looking to buy some euro swiss actually we think that's going to be one of the safer plays here. Um, we shall see. It's news driven. You got to keep your eyes glued to the headlines. Um, obviously, America is asleep right now. Uh, we'll have to see what Trumpy comes up with in the morning. Euro dollar obviously didn't do too much. Not much to say there. Cable also did not do too much. Dollar Swiss zip down to 96.45. That's, but now it's. Com uh, I'm sorry, it zipped down to uh, 96.65, but now we're we're unchanged. Um, really, the trade is basically: Do you believe this is over or not? Um, if you believe it's over, you can buy risk. If you do not believe it's over, you want to fade risk. Um, is the U.S. going to retaliate again? I really don't think so. Um, we'll have to see what the president says. We'll have to see what the hawks in America say. Um, but looks like just in order to save face... Um, Iran just, you know, hit a base in Iraq. They could have done, they could have done far worse than this, if you think about it. They could have, uh, hit Israel. Um, they could have done hundreds of other things, um, by hitting in a, uh, a base in Iraq. They're basically just saying, all we care about is Iraq. Please go away, America. Um, and so, is this enough? Has this ended? Uh, is this basically just a five-day, uh, five-day deal, or is this the beginning of something longer? Instinctually, uh, we think this is over, um, but we'll have to see what the president says, and we'll have to see how the U.S. responds to this. Um, Technicals and charts don't really mean too, too much. Uh, there's the gold chart. 1611. 
our friends in the States faded this. Um, I tend to agree that this is a fade. Um, but I'm of the camp that this is over. I don't think Trump wants a war with Iran. And I think the idea of having a war with these guys um, after he after his first strike when he killed the general I just imagine that after digesting what happened and the consequences of what happened with that um, it spooked him a little bit and said listen this is not the kind of kind of battle we want to have um, a protracted conflict with Iran is, is not in in America's best interest and it's not in Iran's best interest so we're siding on the side that this is over and we're going to try and nibble on risk on and our main focus will be 3205 on a daily closing basis in S&P's below that uh, and then we flip the risk off not really much else to say uh, we are now four hours past all of the action so if you missed it don't dive in and try and be a hero here you missed it if you slept through it like a lot of us did in Europe that's fine um, just settle down and remember there's always another trade there's always another moment and uh, get your balance right and get ready for the rest of the week all right, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, I wish you a good day ahead, and I will speak to you tomorrow. Ciao.